in this video we are going to be designing our first event flyer or event poster using adobe photoshop now i know a lot of you lsp viewers have been waiting waiting patiently on this video like been been waiting so i'm not gonna waste any time we're just gonna get straight into the designing but before we do that i haven't seen you guys in a couple weeks so wherever you are in the world i just want to say merry christmas and a prosperous 2021 when it comes and even if you didn't celebrate christmas or you don't celebrate christmas i'm still sending some love your way so let's get started so here we have photoshop open and let's just go ahead and hit create new and the size that we're going to be using today is a four by six inch document and when you're designing your poster or event flyer be sure to get the size from your client or make sure you know the size that you want to design so that if it's going to be printed the design will be perfect for printing right so if somebody approaches you and say hey can you design an event flyer for me you say yes the first question should be what kind of event is it and what size do you want it and our next question can be is it going to be printed so you can start out with those questions that way you already know and you can start developing your ideas for your design right so if it's going on social media only and not being printed you can design it in a square you know for instagram facebook etc if it's going to be printed on like a tabloid size paper you know that's 11 by 17 inches so those are good questions to ask before you start designing all right so i'm just going to keep my resolution at 300 dpi and let's just go ahead and hit create all right here's our document the idea that i had for this event flyer is for a music event a live music like concert and i already downloaded the photos that i'm going to be using in this um tutorial i got those photos from envato elements as you guys know I have a partnership with Envata Elements, but this particular video is not sponsored. So I'm going to put the link in the description for the particular images that I'm using from Envata. That way, if you guys already have an Envata Elements subscription, you can just grab those and design with me. If you don't have a subscription, you can use my coupon code below to get 70% off your first month's subscription. So let me just go ahead and bring my images in. I have them right here in my folder, these two. I'm just going to drag them into Photoshop. All right, let me just turn this one off. I'm just going to use this one right here. So I have this image, you know, with all the gold lights or yellow lights in the background. And I have this one, you know, more of an up close image, a side profile. All right, so I'm just going to be using this one as the background image. Let me zoom out. All right, and I'm just going to hit Control and T for my transform options and I'm just going to increase the size up top here at my tool option of my image to about to about there and then I'm just going to move it up some more to about there right all right hit enter on my keyboard to place my selection and then I'm just going to hit Control and S to save my project and let's name it um, lspv 041 flyer tutorial right enter okay and then I'm just going to create a new solid color layer by going down to my adjustment layer here hitting solid color and then choosing like a blue you know some kind of dark blue that's the vision I had a dark almost black probably there um, that should be good i think that's cool let's use that for now let's make it a little bit lighter there we go hit ok and as you can see we have our fill layer right here but i want it below my image so let me just drag it down in the layers here next i'm going to just hit my image layer here this one here and i'm just going to change the opacity to about 30 percent by hitting a number three on my keyboard or I could have done that by coming here to opacity and just changing this, adjusting this slider here. Maybe let's do 20. Yeah, that should be good. Control and S to save. Then I'm going to turn on my other image here, this layer here. And then I'm just going to go Control, Shift and A for my camera raw filter. And then I'm just going to increase the saturation here. 
see that this is with the saturation where it was before and when I increased it you can see everything is getting really poppy and yellow and let me just go ahead and push up the clarity a little bit as well this is the look I'm going for so let me just go ahead and click OK alright you can see let me just turn it off you can see the before and the after that's where it was before this is where it is after and then let's go ahead and control and S save our project and then I'm just going to create a circle layer an ellipse layer by hitting U on my keyboard for my shape tool and just holding shift clicking and dragging out a circle holding shift gives me a perfect circle right and then as you can see the circle is not filled but it has a stroke so I'm just going to change this by turning off the stroke up top under my tool options clicking this with the red line through it to turn off the stroke and then I'm going to click on the fill and just change it to white all right that's what I want Control and S to save then I'm going to create another shape but this time I want a square so I'm just going to hold shift and press the letter U until I see the square right here or rectangle tool right here that's what I want I'm just going to click and drag out a perfect square while, hold, while holding shift all right that's about there let me just select the ellipse and the rectangle by holding control and my keyboard and clicking them both and clicking my background and then aligning them to the center by pressing v on my keyboard for my move tool and then aligning their vertical and horizontal centers right now for the rectangle let me go ahead and hit u for my shape tool and the shape tool options and let's go ahead and change the size of the stroke to about 50 pixels right see that um maybe let's do 70. Mm, i think 50 was probably fine let's do 60. all right that's what i want and then i'm just going to rotate the rectangle a couple degrees to the left well not a couple degrees but <laughs> rotate it not to the left to the right sorry until i get it in the shape of a diamond to about there that's what i want this operation will turn a live shape into a regular path continue yes and then i'm just going to make my ellipse my circle a little bit bigger by going ctrl and t for my transform options and then just increasing the percentage to about 110 that's good that's what i want ctrl and s to save and then i'm just going to select my image layer here in my layers and just bring it on top of my circle layer right there it's right underneath it that's why it's covering everything because it's on top and then i'm just going to right click and click create clipping mask and that will clip it to the shape of my circle and whatever shape you clip an image to or clip an element to it will take the shape of that element that's underneath it right so here we have my image layer and it's clipped to my ellipse and then it takes the shape of a circle right pretty pretty cool i want to do the same thing having the image clipped to the rectangle right this this white rectangle here i'm touching the screen like you guys can see my hand but um this rectangle here i'm just going to duplicate my image by clicking on it and going Control and j on my keyboard and that will give me another image layer just like the one i have see right here i have two of them and i'm just going to drag this one down above the rectangle and i'm just going to do the same thing just right click and click create clipping mask and you can see the same effect is on both the circle and the rectangle layer with the image is clipped to both of them right the image took the shape of both of those shapes right next i'm going to duplicate the rectangle one more time by hitting ctrl and j and as you can see it gave me another one but this extra one is also clipped to the original rectangle over here in my layers and that's not what i want so let me just go ahead and drag this down underneath the original rectangle and because i did that you can see the image is no longer clipped so let me just right click on it once more and hit create clipping mask and then the rectangle that i made is now rectangle one copy the duplicate that i had just made and then i'm going to click on it you can see it because it's the same size as this one in front of it I'm just going to hit Ctrl and oops, Ctrl and T for my transform options and just increase the size by about 110%. And then what I can do next, I'm just press enter to confirm that change. 
and then I'm just going to change the stroke from 60 pixels up here in my shape tool options to about five pixels. Let's do three, three pixels. That's the look I want. That's pretty cool, right? And I mean, in designing your event flyer, you can start by typing out all the text that you want first and then working with the image. But in this case, I want the image to be pretty center the focal point of my design so that's why i'm starting with the image versus the information of the event for the flyer so it doesn't matter however your creative process flows just let it flow i'm just going to repeat the same process now by duplicating my ellipse layer because i want a thin circle stroke like what i just did with the rectangle or the square but instead of duplicating it with Control and j and then having to reclip my image layer I can just hold alt on my keyboard click on my ellipse layer and just drag down and that will give me a copy see i have ellipse copy right here and as you know it's the same size as the original ellipse so you won't see it so let me just go ahead and hit Control and t for my transform options and then let's just click the middle link right here to make the width and the height the same size with whatever changes we make and let's just go ahead and make this 110 percent right and then let me change the thickness of the stroke well it doesn't have a stroke no it has a fill i can do it up here over my shape tool options or over my properties tab but let me just use my shape tool options up top let me turn off the fill that's not what i want and let me just turn on the stroke and let me use a color that's close to the yellow in the image maybe let's choose one of these up here that should probably work. And what I want for this orangish yellow, let me zoom in. What I want for this orange yellow line here in the shape of the circle, I want it to have a broken line effect, right? Not as solid as it is now, but a little bit of a broken line effect. So let me go up top to my shape tool options. Let me press U to get my shape tool. And there is this drop down right here next to the size of the stroke, this one right here, that gives you the style of the stroke and just click this broken line right here and I will get the broken line stroke effect. See that? That's what I want. How cool is that? All right, let me zoom back out. See what we have? That's pretty cool. I really like that. Let me just group all of this, all the rectangles, the stroke and the images. And then I group them by selecting all of them and then hitting Control and G on my keyboard. And I got group one. Now, if I turn this off, you can see that everything gets turned off, right? And let's just name this image or photo. Let's name it photo. And we can do whatever we want with our photo layer. We can move it around, see that? And everything moves together, right? Now let's type some text. But before we type our text, let me just go ahead and drag out some guides. You guys know we always use guides, right? Let me drag out some guides on all around uh, as you know you just click on the rulers and just drag out the guide to wherever you want it right and let's just do them a hundred pixels off each side and from the top and bottom right 100 pixels the height of my document is 1800 pixels so 100 pixels from the bottom is 1700 for all my math geniuses out there and let's control and s to save this now i can start adding my text because i have my guides now for my safe printing area it's fine if this is outside the guides i'm not gonna fuss too much about that today let me just align the photo group to the center of the document by selecting the photo group and my background and then pressing v for my move tool it's already selected and then just align there horizontal centers okay nothing is happening that means it's already aligned what's probably off is if you look right here you can see this guideline is touching the edge of the orange portion but out here it's not at the same spot so maybe it's my guide that is off yeah my guide is off by about 10 pixels now it looks centered that's much better Control and s to save now we can start typing let's go ahead and hit t on our keyboard for our type tool and I want it to have like, ooh, that's too big. <laughs> I want it to have like the word 
jazz like jazz night or jazz live i think but let's just do jazz on one side let's align it to the left and let's just pick a color for our font so it matches this gold or this orange in the image so i'm coming over here to my character options of my properties tab clicking on the blue color that the text has right now and just making it the similar a similar color right or i could just let me choose somewhere that that has a brighter orange mm, that works for now let's use that right zoom out and see what we have pretty cool and then let's duplicate that Control and the j and just change this to the word live all right let's align that to the right up top tool options text tool options let's drag it over to the edge of our guide right there and up there same for the jazz oops same for the jazz and let's move them both down because i want to have some more text here about one two three four five pixels down and let's make them a bit bigger about 60 maybe not 60 let's do 48 that should be fine let's move them back up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that should be fine um let me just write another text up top you know when you're looking at event flyers it would say like whatever whatever um organization or association presents party so for example if i was putting on a party it would say like c jam presents or learn share photo video entertainment presents whatever the event is called in this case jazz live right so let me go ahead and write that up top by hitting t on my keyboard and let's just write this out let's make it much much smaller all right and let's write um jazz night live entertainment presents or let's do learn share entertainment presents and let's align that to the center and just align it to the center of our document that pink line right there that's running vertically is telling me that it's aligned vertically within my document then let's move it down five spaces one two three mm, four five and i'm just holding shift on my keyboard and just pressing my down arrows let me just change the font i don't want this to be the same font as this nor the same color I'll just click over here changing it to white Control and s to save let me change the font style from bbas to something else just click let's use nexa bold or light let's use let's use nexa light because the jazz live in the bbas is already bold let's use something lighter to complement it right all right let's size it down to about eight and let's increase the tracking to about 100 or 200 Mm, let's do 100 100 is fine go back up one two three four five four four that's fine let's zoom out and see what we have yes that is pretty cool control and s to save let me even make it a bit smaller let's make it about six mm, then i can increase the track into 200 now all right, that looks cool. Let's increase the size of the jazz and the live. Let's make them about 60. Let's go back to 60 like we had earlier. Let's move it down some. One, two, three, four. The learn share presents is four from the guide, right? Let's do, or five from the guide, I think. Mm, that's fine, that works, right? That works, let's leave it at that. Control and S to save. And then the next piece of information that you need on your flyer, your event flyer is the venue, you know, where it's being held and the admission price if you have to pay to get in, right? So let's add those to our design. Let me just duplicate the jazz by clicking on it and hitting Control and J. And let's bring it down to the bottom and just change it by hitting T for our text tool and then writing January 35th. But let's size that down because that's way too big. 18 mm, it's fine it works 
Let's move it into the center of our document. This pink line right here vertically is telling you that um, the text is aligned. Let's move it up. I think the image is probably too big. Let me size that down by clicking on my photo group, right? Hitting Ctrl and T for my transform options. And then just sizing it down to about um, 90%. Enter to make your selection and then just move it up. That's fine, right? What do you think? The reason why this space right here seems larger than this one is because of the style or the, the form of the letters. L here is different from the Z here, right? That's why it will look like it's not centered, but it is centered. All right, let me zoom in and then let me move the January up. And let me duplicate the um, Learn Share Entertainment, Control and J, bring it down to the January 35th. Let me group the Jazz Live and the Learn Share Ent by clicking all three of them, hitting Control and G on my keyboard to group them. And let's name it um, Title or Event Title. All right, cool. Control and S to save. Let's go back down. Where is that duplicated layer that I made? Okay, it's right here. Let's drag it down. Zoom in for you guys. And then let's change the learn share end to one, two. Oops, sorry. Let's change that to 2021. Let's literally write that out, right? And then let me duplicate both of them by selecting them and hitting Control and J and then just dragging that down, dragging that all down, and let's change this to the venue, right? Let's do at the Dropbox Lounge. <laughs> Let me know if you get this reference in the comments below. Let's align all of these center, I believe. Yes, yeah, center, and let's align them to our template. All right, cool. And then let's write the Dropbox Lounge address by duplicating it and dragging it down about there. Let's move the 2021 duplicate. Where is it? Right here. Let's move it down. Let's write the address for the Dropbox Lounge, which is um, 1080 Google Drive. Um, Cloud City. <laughs> All right, cool. And then let's write the admission in the same type of text. Control and J, I just duplicated the 1080 Google Drive, right? Um, that pink line that says, that pink arrow that says 35, 33 is telling me that the distance between the 2021 and the Dropbox launch is the same as the Google Drive and the duplicated Google Drive that I'm going to change to the admission right now, right? Click on that by hitting T on my keyboard and let's write admission colon um, 50 USD, right? That's a pretty expensive party. <laughs> all right, let's move all of this up. How does it look? Um, do I want to make the text smaller? I think I probably have to make the image smaller. Let's just click on our photo and just hit Ctrl and T4 or transform options. And then let's size it down to about 90%, 95%. And let's move it up some more. About that should be good, right? And then let's move up the January, the Dropbox lounge, the 1080 and everything. Oops, we're moving without the admission. All right, let's select everything, move it up. Let's move the this little white text that's right here. Let's move it down if I can find it. Okay, there it is. And let's put an RSVP one too. Let's put an RSVP for this event because we don't want any random persons just walking to our event, right? It's a pretty exclusive event because it's 50 US dollars to get in. RSVP at um, www. Let's make up something jazz live dot 
com or dot event right cool all right all right all right all right i like how this looks um what else do i want to add i think the admission needs to be up closer to the drop box no i think it's fine what do you guys think um for the purposes of this tutorial i think it's fine where it is let me just punch up the saturation in the image some more let me go back in my photo group but before i do that let me just group all of this text Control and g let's just name it event info right and if i turn it off oops, if i turn it off you can see that it's all moving together right if i move it around it's all moving together Control and s to save let's zoom back in go up to my image locate it in the photo group right and then let's where is it all right here and let's double click on camera raw filter and then i'm going to go into my hsl hsl means hue saturation and lightness and let's look at and the luminance sorry and then let's um click on the saturation tab and just kick up the orange see that this is with no orange whatsoever this is with all the orange in the world let's punch up the yellows as well right all right cool that's more like it and let's just do the same um let's do the same let's apply the same for the, to the other image i can just duplicate this image Control and j and just drag it down because i don't want to do it all over again and let me just delete the original one that was there right cool and let me just um, match the orange text in my design to the new orange that I just made. Let's locate it by starting with the jazz. Picking on an area that is bright orange. Mm. Oh, what I just did, sorry. I just selected both my text and the color of the text is right here. Or you could just hit T on your keyboard for your text tool options. And then you can just click on the color, right? and you can just increase the brightness or intensity of that color that's more like what i want click ok and then i can click the event info group select everything that is in orange which is january 35th um, because january never seems to end <laughs> turn into google drive the dropbox lounge and admission right and i can just pick the color up top and then pick from the jazz and it will match to the same color right all right what do you guys think i really like how this looks let me save it Control and s so we don't lose anything we did and then let's do Control shift and s to save it as a file type that we can send to the printers or we can post on instagram right and let's just go right here to save as type and let's just Click this drop down and select JPEG and we can just save our image and then always leave the quality at maximum, right? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I want to do something else. I want to add something else. Let me add a rectangle outside of this area. You see the, the natural shape that the guys are making? I want to have a rectangle that's actually the same shape as that. So let me hit U on my keyboard for my shape tool. Rectangle is already selected. Let me just click on the guide and drag out a rectangle. Right. And let me turn off the guide by hitting Control and the semicolon. And that's what it looks like. But no, let's size down the jazz and the line because they're touching the rectangle right here. And that's not what I want. So let's locate them in our event title group. Right. And then select them both and change them from 60 to about. 48 that should be cool right um let's see let's do maybe 50 52 that's fine and then let's move it over to the left and right respectively about five notches one two three four five i'm just holding shift on my keyboard and using the move tool right and then same thing one two three four five one two and then let me look at what it looks like 
that looks good let's move the rsvp up from off the rectangle to match the distance up top right here right i believe that was for movements for shift movements right let's bring it all down to the line and then one two three four was it yeah that looks much much more uniform Control and s to save and because we just made some changes after we had saved our jpeg file let's go ahead and resave a jpeg file and overwrite the one that we had so Control shift and s for your save as menu let me see what it looks like one more time mm. i kind of want this point to like overlap this a little bit more so let's 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 do that let's do that to see what it looks like um photo control and oops control and t and then let's make it about yeah that looks cool but enter to see what we have that looks cool let's move it down one two and obviously it's touching the text right here let me just size down the event info just for the purposes of having it look cool one oops two let's move it down to the line one two three four see what we have yes that is what i want that is what i want Control and s to save no i can save my jpeg again right let's go file save as select save as type drop down menu jpeg just click on the one that was there sorry then click save it will ask if you want to replace it as i said we're going to do earlier yes all right now let's go ahead and look at what we made <laughs> what do you guys think i am really loving this really loving this this is so cool the lines overlapping right here and the circle the broken line circle love it love it love it love it learn your entertainment like that's actually a thing <laughs> what do you guys think what do you guys think i am loving this loving it loving it loving it so question of the day when is your next event when is your next live music event or when is the next event at your church are you going to design the flyer how confident are you to do that let me know in the comments below thank you thank you so much for watching once again my name is cjam and i will see you guys in the next video